Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another tutorial on the channel. Today, by popular demand, we are looking at glow signs and banners and ways to use them in your cyberpunk builds. I have lots to show you guys, so let's just get right into it. Also, before we begin, I would just like to say that when you do download the world, there will be all the banners and signs up at the top, nice and organized for you guys to have a nice little look at and i've also included a link down in the description to a planet minecraft collection where you guys can go and see all the banners that i've used some i've made some others have made you guys can have a look there and see how they're done all right so let's start with a fan favorite we have an atm and we have a vending machine and as you can see here i have been using the glow signs to just make the signs for things a little bit more fancy and stylized Right, I'm also using a banner here as a screen and I'm using banner, um, a banner in a shield here as a little keyboard, right? So if you have a look at all of those, there's some good designs there. And then here again, stylized logo thing, you know, sign. And then what we have here is a display panel telling you what each one of the things inside the vending machine is with the numbers attached. And then we have a nice little keyboard here um you're just using some square brackets to uh make the numbers look like they're keys i think that's a very good use and again you guys can use whatever um signs you want whatever colors you want whatever fits your style right so i'm just using um things that fit in quite nicely right now but you guys can mix it up next up we're looking at something that you see quite a lot of in a cyberpunk city and that is danger danger hazards and all kinds of things like this um, so the first one that we have here is the emergency exit and i absolutely love it i'm using a birch sign here probably wouldn't be the one i would pick but i wanted to uh, i wanted it to be as clear as possible and birch signs being the lightest of the signs I figured it would look pretty decent and then i have a sideways one here that's actually pointing into the door which i think is a nice little touch um i'm also using a keypad here just to show that you can use this in conjunction with doors obviously you wouldn't put a keypad on an emergency exit that would just be dangerous but then again it's cyberpunk people don't really care for other people's safety right and then we have all of these signs right so you have like a, a danger cross and a caution sideways swipe thing and the exclamation, a radiation. There's biohazard signs and caution signs. So it's just a nice indication of like the diversity and, and the utility that these glow signs can bring to a city, right? Next up is one of my favorites, the food truck. And yes, the design yet again is by Captain Jack. What would I do without him? So this is one of his, uh, this is his ice cream truck design, right? So a few good examples here. We have the, uh, the, the mags, like the wheel caps here with the, uh, the brick design and then the, the frame around it. We have some ice cream logos right to show that we're selling ice cream and then there's some led lights running over the top of it um another good use for glow signs is actually headlights you can use them as headlights you can also use them as tail lights right so you got the red at the back and the white at the front and then on this side we have some more led strips we have the ramen bowls which i'm sure you guys have seen many a times in other people's videos or on the internet somewhere right and then we have another nice little touch which is the menu right anyone want to pause that and try and translate it go right ahead but there we have the menu with a nice credit sign i know that's just the uh, that's just the scent but in this world it's credits okay it's it's it's, it's cyberpunk it's credits right crypto I, I don't know moving on to some actual light ideas for these glow signs imagine just hanging some of these in your alleyways right like little chinese lantern sorts of things um i've been i've just used the uh, shroom lights with a nice little pattern to give it some texturized look to it i think it works pretty well um another good use for banners would be traffic lights which i'm sure you guys have seen at some point but I thought I'd show it anyway because there is an alternative to that and that would be to use glow signs, right? 
So here I've only made the red one glow and the other one's not. So it does kind of look like the red one, like it is actually a red traffic light, right? You can change this up and actually maybe have a car that's halfway through the intersection and have it on a yellow or a green light. And I think that would make for some dynamicness, di dynamic. Get me di dynamicness to your city. Moving on to signs and graffiti. Um, you guys have seen this one from me before, more or less. Um, I've added in some banners, right? And some glow signs. There's just a couple of hearts just to show that you can get creative with this and actually really just do whatever you want. It, it, that's one of the things that I love about signs and banners is they are actually customizable in your Minecraft world. These are things that you don't have to use the way that they generally look. These are things that never look the same twice or rarely look the same twice, right? So I've made some heart shapes here with magenta um, as part of my graffiti design. I've also put in like a shadowy organizations tag here. I'm assuming they do like assassinations or something and then we have like a hacker guild here that steals stuff from people and we have the the quintessential violent gang right disease coming to get you with blood and all that you, you get the idea and then a pepe because why not you know pepes are good and then here we have something that I would like to say is a hacked display Right, so imagine like a, a LED kind of billboard that's been hacked and you have the scrolling matrix text coming down and then you have some binary here and I will save you the trouble of trying to translate that binary. It says like, yeah, like the video. If you guys are actually getting any use of this, please, please leave a like because, you know, it helps and it's free. It. Moving on to everyone's favorite little convenience store, we have a 7-Eleven. And I don't know why this tickles me so much, but I really enjoyed making this. Um, I think it looks really good. Obviously, shops are one of the things that benefit from neon signage the most. So it was um, inevitable that there was going to be a shop in this tutorial at some point. Right, so here we have a 7-Eleven sign, not designed by me. Go have a look at the Minecraft uh, Planet Minecraft page and you'll see um, the design for this. But I've added in the 7-Eleven color strips like you get in the actual shop designs in real life. And uh, I think it came out really nice. And then another thing, you know, having signs like sales and stuff, neon in the windows is a good thing. Remember that you could put these things outside too if you wanted like that. And uh, the credit sign is one of my favorite uh, banner designs. For cyberpunk i use this everywhere right anywhere where credits are accepted which pretty much everywhere i will put one of these so shops and food stalls and all of those sorts of things then finally we head on into the interiors and i there's a lot to take in in this picture so let's start from here i guess one of the things that you can do obviously is like window blinds or curtains and the idea here is just play around with it yeah, it could be anything. Curtains, you, you guys have all seen fancy curtains, weird curtains, plain curtains, patterned curtains. Just make whatever you want. But what I'm showing you guys here is that between black, oops, between black, gray, cyan, and magenta, these are colors that go really well in the cyberpunk theme. So if you stick with those, you're going to be golden. Reds and lime greens and also light blues work very well for futuristic settings, so bear that in mind. Then moving on to the actual desk setup that we have here. I've used some armor stands to make stands for these side uh, screens, right? So pretend like these are just uh, wallpaper backgrounds for these screens. I think they look really cool. I did not design these, so go and have a look at the, the collection of how they are made. But I just thought that they looked super cool and I wanted to include them. Then we have here the design that we usually use for mirrors, which can also be used for a vertical uh, screen, but it can also be just cut in half by putting another border in there and use as a screen like we did at the ATM over there, right? Then, I'll get to that one in a second. We have LED lights running down the, the bottom and the top of the room, and I've just put in some um, 
stripped dark oak behind it just to show that they do have a better effect when it feels like they're blending into the environment a little bit more right so in that case you have the led strips and uh then we're using the same uh shield design that we used for the keypad in the atm here as a keyboard i've also made one that kind of looks like a mouse so uh yeah there's that and then over here we have just a gradient of blue and black that I've made into uh, to look like a cell phone. And I've put the credit sign, like the one we had over there, on a shield. And that makes for a really good credit card or like crypto wallet or whatever you want. Um, and then finally, I'll address this little elephant in the room. Signs can be done custom with um, commands. So bear that in mind. You could make a nice little scrolly text with the ob obfus obfus obfuscated... I don't know how to say that word. The scrolly text, right? You can make scrolly text and color it green and it looks kind of like hacker stuff, you know, like from 80s hacker movies. Um, and then you could also have things that are multicolored. This is only possible with commands, so uh, bear that in mind. But you could do some funky things with it, and it looks really nice. So if you are willing to use commands for this, then that is just a little bonus tip for you. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know down in the comments which of these details you found most useful. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day, and see ya!